hello. Right here we've got our 8.4 inch disc brake conversion that we've just done to my classic mini. I've got some 10 inch alloy wheels here that I would like to use but they don't fit over the calipers. They rub just along on this edge and there's a kit that you can buy from mini spares. I think mini sport also do a version. It replaces the larger disc, the caliper and the drive flange for the, the smaller size which means you are able to fit 10 inch wheels over. So I'm going to show you how to change over from a 8.4 inch disc setup to a 7.5 inch disc setup using the mini spares 12 to 10 inch wheel conversion kit. In your conversion kit from mini spares you will get two new drive flanges shiny so two of those you've got your split pins and screws nice shiny seven and a half inch disc it's worth noting that they do come lightly greased so that they don't rust so before you install them and use them make sure you degrease the contact areas of the disc or your brakes won't work so the flange goes on there you use the screws that I mentioned to attach the drive flange to the hub or to the disc sorry so you get pads, you get EVC Automax 2 and obviously you get two shiny new calipers as well so that's your that's your right hand caliper you sit on your disc like that right let's move over to the car alright so this is back to our 8.4 disc setup so first thing we need to remove is the brake caliper now I didn't do these bolts up properly because I knew I was going to take them straight off so you've got two bolts on the back of the caliper one here and one here just undo those bolts and the caliper drops away yeah so everything's loose on this because I didn't tighten anything but you'll have to undo your hub nut which is this big nut here that is that will be very tight I think it's around uh, 250 newton meters something like that so yeah that's going to be hard to get that off you can often use a pry bar in between as you undo it or even better if you have an impact driver impact gun then you should be able to just whiz that straight off um, yeah so then you need to pull off the disc off the CV and rescue the taper washer so that just leaves you with your hub attached to the, your steering arm that we did last time and there's your CV joint all inside the hub there get your new disc and drive flange that should slot straight over And you've got your taper washer goes back in there, hub nut goes on there. Obviously, tighten everything up to torque. And your new caliper. The way to tell which caliper is which side is your bleed nipple should always be at the top. If it's at the bottom, you will struggle to get it bled. Caliper should just slot on over the back. Same bolt, top and bottom. And um, it should have a split washer, split spring washer to go on as well. And then once that's on, you just slot your pad in either side, put a pin through from there to there, and that's it done. That's it's super simple it's not difficult to do 
and bling. Looks great. So, final test. Let's take our 10 inch alloy wheel that we've got, line up the holes, and it now no longer scrubs on the caliper because it's a lot smaller. Fantastic. So there you go, nice quick one, hope you enjoyed that. That's the 7.5 inch discs on now, ready to run our 10 inch wheels. Yeah, I know Tom, Total Car Reviews, is doing this uh, conversion to his Clubman soon, so hopefully this is helpful for you Tom. Thanks for watching. I only did this video because I couldn't find uh, uh, another video on YouTube that showed the process. There's one video with a guy talking about how he did it, but it's always nice to just see someone do it. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Cheers guys.